There's one other technique of solving systems that I want to show you. And the reason that I give you all these different techniques is because they work in different situations. If you just know one technique, then you have to use it for ones where another technique might actually be simpler. So the last technique is what's called elimination. The first thing you want to do is you want to multiply, if necessary, to get one term's coefficients, either the same or opposite, meaning either they're both positive 3 or they're both negative 3 or one of them is positive 3 and the other one is negative 3. So they have the same number, but their signs can be different. But as long as the number is the same, that's okay. Once you've done that, you want to either add or subtract to eliminate a variable. So if you've done step one properly, then one of the variables will cancel. So then you solve whatever's left. And then you substitute the value from step three to get the other variable. Lots of phrases. So let's see what that means. Substitute, or not substitution, elimination really works best when it's written in standard form. Remember, in an earlier chapter, we said standard form is where all the variables are on one side and the constant, also known as the number, is on the other side. So since both of these are written in standard form, elimination is my best technique. I'm just going to put one in front here. Now, what you want to do is you want to see if by adding or subtracting you can eliminate a variable. So if I add these two, which variable will cancel? I'll have 1x plus 1x. Will that cancel? I'll have positive 3y plus negative 3y. Will that cancel? So if I add, then the y's will cancel. If I subtract... I'll have 1x minus 1x, and then those will cancel. So it's just a this is just an example where luckily both operations work, so you just pick one. Um, but usually it will just happen where one of them cancels. So I'm going to add because addition is always, in my mind, simpler than subtraction. So I'll get 1x plus 1x, which is 2x. Positive 3 plus negative 3 cancel. And negative 2 plus 16 is 14. So step 3 is to solve. So that means that x equals 7. Now go back to one of the original equations. I'll just pick the first one. And see what you get for y. So that's 7 plus 3y equals negative 2. And let's solve 3y equals negative 9. So y equals negative 3. So that means that the point that solves my system is the point 7, negative 3. Let's check out letter B. If I add, does anything cancel? No. If I subtract, does anything cancel? No. So I have to figure out a way to make something cancel. So I want you to watch this. If I multiply this whole bottom equation by 3, then I'll get negative 6x minus 12y equals 42. Now if I line that up next to the other one, negative 6x plus 5y equals 25, do you see how something will cancel now? If I subtract them, then the x's will cancel because negative 6 take away negative 6 gives me a 0. So the goal is to make something cancel. And if you have to multiply, then do that. So negative 6 take away negative 6 is 0. 5 take away negative 12. Well, I have to think about integers. 5 take away negative 12 is the same as 5 plus positive 12. So that gives me 17y. I can just get rid of this 0 plus. I don't need that. And 25 take away 42 is the same as 25 
plus negative 42, and that would be negative 17. So now I'll just solve, and I get y is negative 1. So I'll go and I'll plug in into one of the equations, it doesn't matter. Add 5, negative 6x equals 30, so x equals negative 5. So the solution to this is negative 5, negative 1. And we'll practice more of these in class, obviously. These are, mu these are more complicated than the first example. Let's look at one way where we have to write our own equation. You buy eight hostas and 15 daylilies for $193. Your friend buys three hostas and 12 daylilies for 117. Write and solve a system of equations to find the cost of each daylily. So we're gonna use that guide for me and then we're gonna use that guide for my friend. So I don't know the cost for each hosta that's what we have to find. But I do know how many each person got. So m me is 8x plus 15y equals 193. My friend is 3x plus 12y equals 117. So now we have to figure out how to make them cancel. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to multiply both. And just so I can keep the numbers low, I'll multiply the, to cancel the x. So I'll multiply this one by 3. And I'll do this one by negative 8 because then it will make them opposites and I'll be able to add. So this one will give me 24x plus 45y equals... 579. Hope you have your calculator handy. And then this one gives me negative 24x minus 96y because the three was the eight was negative equals negative 936. So since these are opposites, I can add now. So I'll add and then 24 plus negative 24 cancels. 45 plus negative 96 is negative 51y. Negative 357. I hope that goes in evenly. Divide by negative 51. Yeah, that's y equals 7. Now, if you read the question carefully, it says find the cost of each day, Lily. And in our example, daily li day lilies was y. So technically, we found out that day lilies cost seven dollars per day lily. If the question also asked how much does each hosta cost, then you'd plug y into one of the equations over here and solve for x. But we can stop right there, and if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.